Hello and welcome to Crafts Around the House from the Cumberland County Public Library. My name is Ginger and for this craft I'll be showing you how to make your very own driftwood candle holder. So let's get started. Here are the materials needed for this craft. A glass votive holder, you can use any size you want. A battery operated tea light, just some type of trinket to decorate your jar with. You can use a seashell or sea glass or whatever you have on hand. Some twine to wrap around it. This is about two feet. Some glue sticks for your hot glue gun. And of course your driftwood pieces. Now these may need to be cut to fit your tea light as I had to do these. And that's all of your materials you need. And now we're ready to start making the candle holder. You're going to select a piece of driftwood. You're going to put some hot glue on one side of it. Just a good amount so that it'll hold it to the glass. And then you're going to put it on there. And you're holding it for just a couple of seconds until it's set. And then you're going to do the same thing with your other pieces. Now you can stagger these as you want to so that they're a little taller, a little shorter. As you go around your vase, it doesn't really matter, but you just wanna do that all the way around until you get all of your pieces glued on. Once you have all of your driftwood glued onto your candle holder, you're going to take your twine, and the easiest way to do this is to lay your candle down. You're going to wrap your twine around, and you're going to come back to the other side, and you're going to tie a bow. Make sure you get it pretty tight so it doesn't droop. Alright, and then put just a little drop of glue behind it so it doesn't fall down, like so. And then you're going to take your little trinket that you're using, whatever it may be, and you're going to place it on here With just another little drop of glue to hold that on. And then let your glue dry so that your decoration is secure on here. And use a pair of scissors to just push that down just a little bit. Make sure it holds. And once you're sure it's dried, I'm going to sit it up, arrange your little decorations, and then you can place your tea light in it. And then there you have your driftwood candle holder. You're all done. I hope you enjoyed making this craft. This will make a wonderful gift for family and friends or to just keep for yourself. If you would like to know more about this program or any of our virtual programs, give us a call at 910-483-7727 or visit us online at County nc.gov forward slash library. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.